The intention of this video is to show the colour codes and the colours in VBA. I'll also show the colours for fonts in VBA and how to use macros to fill in uh, or format the cells and format the fonts. At the end I'll also show how to automatically clear those uh, formatted cells or formatted fonts all using VBI macros. Initially I'll just show you the first six colours and I'll do it on this little chart that I've made up. I'll number those one to six with a space in between using uh, Kingsoft's uh, sequential fill facility which I'm a big uh, fan of. So we'll put one in there, miss one, two in there, highlight that one, that one and that one. Make sure I've got that little cross there, draw it down and there we are, one space two, space three, space four, space five, space six and then we'll put the colours in there. This is the long way round. This is um, giving an instruction for each individual cell there, using offset to put the space in, and putting the colour code index in, one in the first one, two in the second one, three in the third one, and so on, until we've done six colours. Um, this is just to show you the long way around and how each one each statement works. I'll make this up into a macro and then run the macro. Uh, this is the macro for displaying the first six colours. Um, we're going to do it in sheet 5, select that. Um, I'm going to start at E10 and instead of select I've put activate. So that's a, a new command there. So uh, the active cell, this E10, will put colour index 1, interior colour index 1. Then we'll skip a cell, active cell, offset, two rows down, none across, select, active cell, interior, colour index equals 2, again, this then will skip 2 down, active cell, interior colour index 3, all the way down, and so To run this macro I'm not going to uh, use an object as I've done before or go to develop a macro and then run. Um, we'll make a shortcut, so this is another uh, new procedure to do. Uh, we're going to options and um, with a shortcut I'll put um, X and it's, it'll, it'll run colors 6 so it'll actually run the macro there when you press control X okay hopefully All right. shut that down now here's the color card I'm going to press uh, control X now and there we are, it's put the colours in. Now that that one is white. So it's black, space white, space red, space green, space blue, space yellow. So the colour code 1 gives you black, the colour code 2 gives you white. Now there, colour code 1 is black. 2 is white, 3 is red, 4 is that green. Having done that, then we'll go on and show you the shorter way of doing it, and we'll put in all the colours. I'll do them in blocks of 10 uh, because it'd be easier to show those on the screen. 
This is the uh, basic statement for uh, doing the first 10 colours. So we'll, we'll say 4i equals 1 to 10. Active cell, interior colour, i. And then it goes down two rows, select next. Keeps going round and round in a loop until it's used all its 10 of them. Um, so we'll write a macro for that now, but now, and come back to you in a second. This will be the macro, um, range spelt correctly, and um, the switch marks there, round E10. I didn't do that right before. Right, I've, um, this is uh, the macro now for the first 10 colours. Uh, I've spelt colours wrong there, it doesn't matter. Range e for I e uh, 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 that's okay. Uh, I think we'll do the same again. We'll make um, a shortcut key for that. So we'll just go to that again. Right, we'll go to colour 10 macro. There it is, spelt wrong. And options, uh, click uh, L. Uh, yeah, click L. Even though it is 50, lowercase L. Okay, um, show first 10. We'll do it again. Yeah, colors. Right, so when we press Control L now, it'll run and that should fill in. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to press um, Control L and it'll run this macro and hopefully put the colours in there. Control L, there we are, to put the colours in. 10's green, there we are, so that's the first 10 colours. Using this formula you could then do the others up to 54, so the next one would be from 11 to um, 20, if that's what you want to do, but you can display all the the colours, I won't do it now because it will save time. What we'll do now is remove those colours. Remove To clear the colours out the cells, this is what we do. We'll change that there and change it to clear. Not my little dot out. Full stop out. Full stop there. So I'll make a macro for that now. That's the macro for that then. I've called it um, colour 10, clear. Go to where we want. Start the cell, activate the cell. Do this loop with next. But instead of active cell interior colour, we'll uh, do clear. Okay. Okay, we'll um, put a um, shortcut key in for this as well. So, colour clear that one. Um, well, it really matters in there. Uh, options, and we'll put in J. So, when we press Control J, then it wipes out all the colours in there. Okay. Clear. Just give it. It's just a note. Clear first. Ten colours. Okay. Right. I'm going to um, press. Um, 
control J now and it should take out all the colours. It'll run this control J will run this um, macro. There we are, all the colours gone. Control L, all back again. Control J, all gone. Control L, all back again. Okay, so that's uh, that's how to put colours in and how to put the uh, and how to take them back out again. For all the colours on one page, this is what the macro looks like. I've done it in uh, batches of 10 to make it fit on the screen. Run. There we are, there are all the colours if you want to take a, a screenshot of it. 1 is black, 11 is that dark blue. 12 is that sort of purpley colour, um, 21. So there are the codes, there are the colours that you'll get. Okay. I think 54 is the last colour. Uh, these, I don't think those are proper colours. What I'll do next is I'll change the fonts. There. This is the macro to uh, change the font colours. Um, the first six font colours. I've reversed the colours um, for where the numbers were in in the table. So it starts off sheet five, select range C10. And then active cell, font, color index 6. And then it goes all the way down um, to there. This is the long way of doing it without putting the uh, I equals equation in. Okay. There we are. Oh. Uh, we will format that cell to white there we are six have a format that one just so that you can see the colours green yeah, so that's yellow blue uh, green red That one's probably white. Uh, yes, that's white. It doesn't look as if that was changed. So there we are. Yellow, blue, green, red, white for the fonts.